Hey everybody and welcome to Modern Ukrainian Homestead channel. Today's talk will be very short. Let's talk about standards, standards that are used in wind industry and solar industry to measure the nominal value of production capacity of the wind turbine and the solar panel. This is important because I have seen many times that people don't understand how exactly does it work and what does it mean that the for example, the wind turbine is 2 kilowatt or 1.5 kilowatt or 10 kilowatt. Same with the panels. Uh, it, let's say they don't understand on which exact conditions the panel should be giving you, like 400 watts, for example. I mean, that's listed on the sticker, right? So let's keep it short. It's very, very simple. First, let's start with the wind turbine. The nominal value, nominal power value of the wind turbine is given by the industry standard at the winds which are 15 meters per second that's it that's it that's basically it there is no more rule about the nominal value so everybody who claims it to be at more at less they are deviating from the standard because i mean there is a standard and everything else is not within the standard about the solar panel it's a little bit more complicated because uh, you have to match two factors, not only one, but two factors. Factor number one is solar irradiation. It has to be 1000 watts per one square meter. That's a standard. And also the temperature on the panel has to be 25 degrees Celsius. These are the two values you have to match to actually measure the panel output. Output and, well, this is reachable only in laboratory um, situation in real world you will never probably no, no never never ever you will see that the max that you can see from the panel is maybe 94 95 percent uh, of its uh, nominal value so let's say the panel is 500 watt rated you will rarely see more than 460 for 450 for 470 I, very very rarely for 80. Uh, reason why so because normally if the sun shines and i mean if the if the uh, rays are directly 90 degrees to the solar panel um, surface, you will never have the temperature. And um, I mean, this has to be very cold. I mean, it has to be around zero to five degrees Celsius uh, on the outside, and you have to match this condition to actually get the max out of it. But still, no, it's never, never, ever possible. But basically, yes, these are two values that you should uh, count on and understand how this is going to work. So if everybody tells you that I have 12 kilowatt of solar, you have to understand that he has he will never see 12 kilowatt on his inverter and on his uh, specifically AC side. I mean, because also AC and DC also the raw loss is like about 3%. So DC is always higher than AC. That's also the, the difference. That is why you always have to go a little bit higher. So solar clipping is what is uh, required to do with the solar panels and with the wind turbines. Uh, just count for less. Just count for what is the average wind speed in your area. That's what you have to measure and what you have to count on. That's it. But just to sum it up, wind turbines, 15 meters per second, that's the nominal value where it should that should be given for the wind turbine and solar panel. It's 1000 watts per square meter irradiation plus 25 degrees Celsius, the temperature on the panel. Now, like these are the standards that are used worldwide. So let's stick with it. Let's use it because like we have to be educated and we have to understand everybody. We have to speak the common and very like to be on the same page. We have to speak the common language. So thanks for watching and see you later.